Today we're going to talk about the Humano Indians of the mountains and basins. There's a lot we don't know about the Humano Indians. Remember that everything we do know about all the Indians that we've studied so far has been written down. There isn't a lot of reliable information that has been written down about this tribe. For example, on the political system box, you're just going to have to write a question mark because we really just don't know. What we do know about the Humano Indians is that they were farmers and they grew many different types of food. Other Indian tribes that did not farm often traded to get some of the food that they grew. What kind of food did they grow? Well, we know from records that they grew corn, squash, beans, and pumpkins. They also made a lot of pottery and traded that as well. Because they traded so often, their village usually contained what is what we call a welcome house, which is basically, basically just like a guest house for the different tribes that came to visit. The Humano Indians of Texas lived in the very, very corner of the mountains and basins, so you can shade this part on your chart. There were other kinds of Humano Indians besides just these. These are called Pueblo Humano. If you look at the map, this area where they're living at is close to where El Paso is today. If you think back to what we learned about the mountains and basins, you might remember that the mountains and basins is mostly a desert, except for there is a big river that runs through this area called the Rio Grande. The Rio Grande is right here, and the Pueblo Humano Indians lived right along that river, and they used irrigation to move the water from the river into their cropland. They're called Pueblo Humano because of the kind of houses that they lived in. These houses that you see here are called Pueblos. People actually still live in houses similar to this today. They are built with adobe bricks, which is made from a certain kind of mud. And that mud is put together into a mold and shaped into a brick. And then these bricks are put together much like we'd put together a house today. And so these Pueblos, they're usually several together to form a village. You can see that the, this would be, this is the inside of a Pueblo. You can see they've used sticks to make a roof. Down here at the bottom, draw the Pueblos for the Pueblo, for the Pueblo Jimeno. I know this is a really short video today, and I apologize that there's not more to tell you about the Humano Indians. This is just all that we know at this time. Next time, we'll begin studying the Hunter or Plains Indians of Texas.